Hello, today we're gonna to be doing the glute bridge. So to set up, you're gonna find something nice and comfortable. So I have two yoga mats here, just because they're thinner. Um, you're going to plant those feet on the floor and lay down. You want your knees up in the air, or not up in the air, but you want them up. You don't want to be completely flat on the ground. Those feet are planted. You're going to engage that core so that you eliminate the space between your back and the ground. And so we eliminate that pelvic tilt, we call it. We wanna protect the back in this movement. When we're doing the movement, you want to drive through those glutes and the hamstrings so that you really work, it's called a glute bridge, so you wanna work those glutes. You're going to Engage that core, drive through the glutes, and lift those hips up. You're gonna notice that I'm just supporting myself through my heels, or through my feet, and through my shoulders. Those are my two points of contact on the ground. Your hands, if you need them for balance, you can put them out to the side, or you can just have them resting on your tummy if you don't really need it for balance. You want to be mindful of your knees, you don't want them to cave in where you're doing this. We want them about shoulder width. You can add a booty band to make you feel that resistance so that you remember to maintain a good knee posture so that your knees don't cave in because the booty band wouldn't have any resistance then or too far out for this normal glute bridge. If you're doing a glute bridge variation, they might be having you push those knees out into a frog pose. But for this normal glute bridge, we want good knee posture where it's just outside or just within the shoulder width. So remember, engage that core, drive through the glutes, and remember that knee posture. All right, that's the glute bridge. Make sure to ask any questions if you need. Have fun.